What I'm trying to do for my customers is offer them really great food at really reasonable prices all the time. Uh, a lot of folks are struggling right now. It's important to uh, be able to help out any way we can. We all feel it. High inflation, food prices that just keep going up, and there doesn't really seem to be an end in sight. But I'm here because I've heard that through that door, there's a man giving people a break. Can a neighborhood restaurant help people through tough economic times? Hi, thanks for coming to see us. Meet Dave Brown, owner okay. of Fearless Meats. Dave tells me it's called that because he's not afraid to keep his prices as low as possible. His inspiration comes from being a butcher. Dave says in the olden days, butchers served a big role in the community. In the days before they had food banks, butchers were the local food banks. So in times of need and people were struggling, they, uh, butchers would sort of give credit to people. And uh, quite often the people wouldn't be able to pay them back, but, but that was fine. It's a tradition that I'm trying to, uh, to bring back. Hi guys, thanks for coming to see us. By lunchtime, Fearless Meats is jam-packed. I come here because it's not a big ding in my pocket. It's affordable. <laughs> That's why. It's great. We need more places like this, you know. We need to get rid of the big box guys and get these little family-run businesses back into the communities. And for Dave, it's not only about low prices. He gives out free meals to anyone in need. Why? He says it goes back to his childhood. I come from modest means. Uh, it was a struggle at times for, for my family when I was, uh, was growing up. Uh, my brother, sister, and myself, we delivered newspapers. Uh, we turned over uh, some of the money to my parents each, uh, each week. And I remember those times. I just want to help out people. I don't want anybody to have to go through the, some of the stuff that we went through. What's your last name? Uh, Pearson. I meet Kevin Pearson waiting to pick up his order. Now, Kevin has worked in the film industry for years, and it surprised me how he described his life these days. It's stressful. It's stressful. It's, it's not great. I have always made a, a fair, decent amount of money and have always managed to just sort of manage to get by. But if things are getting worse and worse and worse, I don't know where that's going to go for my kids in regard to them being able to, to keep up and cope. And yeah, that, that creates me some stress and anxiety as well. But I'm also worried about my own retirement and what that's going to look like in a few years and how I'm going to cope with things getting more and more expensive all the time. Kevin's not alone with his uncertainty. In the last 20 years, more and more seniors in Canada have had to work past the age of retirement. And that's the story here in the kitchen too. Everything we sell up front uh, is prepped back here. Bob Sabarin had retired five years ago, but he realized he had to come back to work. I don't have the luxury of not working. Um, I, I don't have, you know, ridiculous amounts of wealth lying around in a cryptocurrency account or anything like that. So I need to work to pay my bills, like everyone else does. So that's where we're at. It's not really until I meet Marco that I really understand how important this restaurant is to people. Marco tells me he delivers pizza for a living. Oh, I come here because the food is amazing and uh, the affordability, the prices are very reasonable. You know, that's a big bag, so you have, that's three, for you and your meals. family? Yeah, for my kid and myself and my wife. Tell me about your life right now. It's very, very hard. I'm self-employed and I'm really struggling these days, yeah. What do you mean? I have to work more and um, my uh, kid is soon going to go to college in a year, universities. So we have to put away a lot of money. So right now it's looking very glim for me. Right? How, do you, how do you keep going? I try to stay positive, that's it. And I wake up and, and um, tell myself that it's time to go. <laughs> because the jobs like I work, there's no sick days. So if I take the day off, it's fine. But I don't get paid, I paid, paid zero, so. Because then I think of my family and then I have to push myself. Thank you guys, see you again, good job. Customers like Marco are why Dave says he hopes his restaurant will inspire other businesses to help out as well. It's not about trying to squeeze the uh, last nickel out of uh, a customer, uh, it's about doing the right thing. Nick Purden, CBC News, Toronto.